What's up Summoners, Nicole here to bring you the new free champion rotation for week 2 of season 4. As a few people pointed out, maybe the useless information on these videos is not so helpful, so let's try this out. I'll list the free champions and point out some general information and counter tips. These should help as mostly it's new players that pick up the free champions for the week, so this can give you a head start on how to absolutely demolish your opponents. Let's begin. We start out with Ash. Ash is a long range archer with strong physical damage. She has no defensive skills, so she's really easy to gank and focus on during team fights. It's ideal to fight her aggressively in lane, as her volley has really long cooldown at earlier levels. Pantheon is a melee fighter with strong damage. Watch your health around him as Pantheon has 100% critical hit chance when your health is below 15%. If you're confident, try to kite and harass him, otherwise engage with teammates and lock him down with hard CCs. Next is Sona. Sona is a magical support. Ruining her early game should be a top priority as she is extremely squishy in early levels. Try to coordinate ambushes or assaults on Sona and her lane partner, but be wary of focusing her AD carry too much in a line as her crescendo ability is a stun that will quickly change the momentum of the battle. Shin Zhao is a beefy physical damage fighter with strong bursts and the ability to close gaps very quickly. What he lacks in escape ability is made up for by his natural tankiness. Don't let him farm all game long and play him aggressively in the early game. Avoid clumping up when Shin Zhao initiates because his knockup and his ultimate will spread a lot of damage. Kennen is an amazing harasser with AoE stuns, heavy CC, and naturally quick movement. It's very easy to be intimidated by his abilities, but remember that he's squishy and he needs to be in range to use his Maelstrom ability. Focus on denying Kennen's farm and knocking him back in engagements. Also, stay away from him when his electrical surge proc is up, as the additional damage adds up in the long term. Nocturne is a natural jungler and an assassin. If you're a skilled player, you might want to try counter jungling him. Keep your eyes peeled as Nocturne can effectively gank starting at level 2, and watch for his Dustbringer as it can be seen in the Fog of War. This should let you know whether Nocturne is doing objectives like Dragon. Fiora is a physical damage fighter that excels at farming. Luckily, she's quite squishy and lacks escape mechanisms. Capitalize with an assault if her lunge is on cooldown. If she starts to gain too much farm, focus her down and eliminate her advantage, especially if the player is not really skilled. Jace is a highly versatile ranged fighter. Try standing behind minion lines to avoid being hit by his ranged attacks. Kite and poke him as much as you can, but play it safe in early game, denying him as much farm as possible. When he has his hammer out, flash away from his to the skies ability before he hits the ground completely to nullify the damage. Lulu's a magical support with no health sustainability, meaning players should wear her down as much as possible while laning. Be aggressive against Lulu in early game, and if she hits you with picks, stand amongst the creeps to divert some damage. Finally, we have Quinn. Quinn is a great harasser in early game and excels at chasing down champions. Her base attack speed is kind of low, and she has extremely short range, which makes her an excellent target in team fights. When Quinn is in Valor form, maintain that aggression on her, as Valor gives her a tremendous amount of movement speed outside of combat. So those are the free champions for this week. Let us know which ones you plan on playing. Give this video a like and a subscribe for more League content on the regular. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And see you guys next week.